I had a question recently about how to plot a drawing that was set up for a large format sheet of paper onto a size sheets of paper and then tiled them together so that the scale could be preserved when it was plotted. Um, I'm, there are a couple ways you can do this. One is simply to plot to a PDF file and then open it in Acrobat and use the Acrobat tiled print option to print it. But that doesn't give you a lot of control over where the tiles actually fall. So this is another technique that you can use. I have a drawing here that's set up for D-sized paper. The uh, main part of the drawing is a quarter inch equals a foot, and half inch equals a foot detail, three quarters of an inch equals a foot. So there's various details at various scales. And what I want to be able to do is to plot this so that it comes out the same size that it would if I had a D-sized plotter. So you might have done something at work, you go home, you want to actually use it as a reference. When you're done, you can cut them apart and then paste, uh, tape them together, or you can just use them individually as sheets. First thing I'm going to do is go to the layers, and I'm going to create a layer to put these tiled tiles on and the layer I'm going to create is called tiles and I'm going to make that layer a non-plot layer. Now if you want to see the tiles you can uh, make it a plot layer and then you can use those as registration lines but right now I'm going to use this uh, with non-plot. Um, the viewports are also in a non-plot layer. I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle known as layer tiles is my current layer and I want to draw this so that it is smaller than the printable area of the printer that I'm using. In this particular case, if I draw this rectangle at, at 10.5 by 8, it will include everything that I can print on my printer. So I just move this so that it goes over one corner. And now I'm going to use the array command. In the array command, I'm going to take that object and array it in rectangular fashion and Actually, what I'm going to do, I use the, uh, I type negative array because I tend to use that array, but I'm going to use the AutoCAD array command, and the array command in AutoCAD now creates a single object, which is going to be helpful to me. So I'm going to do a rectangular array. Um, the spacing on that rectangular array is going to be, uh, the distance between columns uh, is going to be 10.5. The distance between rows is going to be negative 8. Enter. So now I have a single object that covers the entire sheet, and I can move that object around so that it includes just what I want to see. So if there's a situation here, for instance, where that dimension line just gets a little too close, we can move that entire group of tiles into a new location. Uh, maybe we'll do it up here so that it uh, doesn't cut through. Now we'll look around the rest of it and see what happens, make sure everything's going to be included, although you notice that I, yep, I'm going to include the, the border as well. So now when you go to plot, you're going to plot setup manager. And you might want to make a new layout, by the way, from the one you're working with, just so that nothing happens to this one. So in other words, I might want to do a move and to copy, copy and put it at the end. I'll go down here. Okay, now right click on the first floor plan, go to Page Setup Manager, modify it, select the printer you plan to use. In this case, it's a LaserJet Pro. It can't plot to D size paper, so you get a little error message. It can plot the letter. We're going to use Landscape. I'm just going to pick OK. You notice obviously we couldn't get that whole drawing on a sheet of A size paper, but now when you plot, what you'll do is plot to a window. And if you've got your object snap set to endpoint, you can plot to a window by just snapping to each endpoint on the... You have to be careful that you get the actual endpoint of the, of the rectangle. If we do a pre preview right now, you'll see that it's included only the stuff that's in that corner. And where it stops is where you're going to cut. So you can cut right down through. If you'd prefer to have the tiles show up, just go back and make the tiles themselves, the tiled layer itself. Make it a plotted layer. Now when you go to plot, once again you're going to do a window. So we'll take this area right here, corner to corner. I'll do a preview on that. Now what you're going to see is you get the edge right where the plotting stops so you can actually cut along that line. So it's up to you which one you would prefer.